Welcome to Chant the Love Song of the Church. Last time we took a look at Pope Pius X and his many reform efforts, but he was not alone in these efforts. The 20th century saw the arrival of what we call today the liturgical movement, which was a revival taken up by monks, laity, priests, nuns uh, across the board. It was an effort to rediscover traditions of centuries before which had been forgotten or lost. So in addition to Pope Pius X, we have many figures, uh, many groups, many monasteries and communities who took up this work of rediscovering tradition. Among these many groups, one in particular stands out, the Benedictine monks of Salem. After they were reformed by Jean Prosper Garanger in the middle of the 19th century, these monks became leaders in musicology, especially concerning Gregorian chant. They took up the difficult work of studying the ancient manuscripts of chant. Difficult because, as you recall, Gregorian chant was from the very beginning an oral tradition, meaning it was taught by ear and memorized. So when documents first began to be written to uh, record the notes of the chant, these were done in very simple forms that would be merely uh, a mnemonic device, a way for the singer to remember. So very difficult to decipher the signs and symbols, but this is what the monks of Salem began to do to rediscover uh, Gregorian chant in its pure, its original form. So when Pope Pius X uh, established a commission to study medieval chant, of course, the monks of Salem were leading figures in this commission, and they were given the task of uh, producing a standard book of chant, which would be uh, the definitive work on chant, and it's a book that we still use today in the extraordinary form. This is called the Liber Ushualis, and it includes the full compilation of chants throughout, um, throughout the Sundays and major feasts of the saints for the liturgical year. This was a work which Solem uh, first produced the end of the 19th century and eventually was accepted by the Vatican in 1924 and was given its final edition, its final printing, in uh, the 1960s. So it's still a great work um, which has marked the, the rediscovery of chant into our present day. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to hear future episodes of Chant the Love Song of the Church.